In this video, I will teach you how to label your Ableton tracks so you can easily export your stems the right way. My name is Matt Flank. Let's get started. Okay, so we are in the Ableton project for Crashing Clouds, which is my latest single. And as you can see, everything is very organized. So how do you do this? You want to make sure that everything is organized by color. For example, all my vocals are yellow and all my basses are purple. You can choose that for yourself. Second, you want to make sure that if you have groups, for example, I have the bass group, the effects group and the vocals group, you want to make sure that the group name is in caps. I will explain later why that is, but this is very, very important. Don't skip over this. And then finally, for all the other tracks, so not the groups, you want to make sure that all the track numbers are included. In Ableton, you can do this automatically by renaming a track and just typing a hashtag before this, and it will simply um, label it with the track number. For example, if I go to the base, I type a hashtag, you will now see number 21. 21. So now let's say you want to export. I'm going to export everything, but if you just want to export some tracks, you can simply select the tracks which you want to export. I'll select everything, go to the export menu, and right there to export your stems, you want to select all individual tracks or selected tracks only if you have only a couple tracks that you want to export. I like to include my return and master effects, but you don't have to. You can also leave them as a separate track. And I'm going to select my audio export format. If we then click export, we can choose the file location in our browser. And whatever file name we give here, it will label in front of the file name of the track. Let me show you. For example, for this song, I might want to label it a short form of the song title, which might be COTC. And if I then export it, you can see that every single file is exported. And in front of the file name, we have COTC. You can also leave this empty if you don't want anything at all. So now, why do you need to label your groups with caps? Well, let's say you send this to a mixing engineer or to a friend who's co-producing a song with you. What they're going to do is select everything, and drag it into their UAW. Very simple. But what Ableton does when you're exporting a song, it will not only export all the tracks within a group, it will also make an export of the entire group itself. So then when your friend or your mixing engineer imports everything, they will have the vocals double because they have the vocals, but also all the individual vocal tracks. They will have my basses double because they will have all the basses right there but they will also have a base group. So I like to at least put my groups into a separate folder or just leave them out altogether. And because they are labeled with caps, I can simply find them, select them all. And that makes it very easy for me to create a proper export of this project. And then the final thing that is why you want to include your track numbers in your file name. That is because if you have an organized project and only if you have an organized project, it will make it super easy for the other person to import this into their project. Let me show you. So we have a new Ableton project right here. Let's say I want to import all the stems. I simply select everything. I'm going to leave my groups out because I don't want those. Now that I deselected the groups, I can simply drag it into Ableton, hold control to stack it on top of each other. And now that I'm importing, you can see that all my tracks are in the same order as they were in my project. If you don't do this, your file explorer will order them alphabetically and Ableton will import them in just a random order. So I hope that you learned something from this video and for now you will not be the clumsy and unorganized guy anymore. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt Flank. Peace out. By the way, check this drop.